Here we go, part two. Use the two pipes, dry, looking fairly dull and flat. This pipe has a sort of reservoir system, sort of like the Peterson. Nice sort of sandblast, rustic finish to it. Now Peterson's looking fairly flat. Uh, we'll see what we can do with that. There we go, the cheap stem, this is the second time in the chlorine bath, in the bleach bath, pretty oxidised. Um, the Peterson stem went from brown to black. It must be just a mark of the quality in the plastic or bacon white. So we sanded them to about 800 grit. We started on about 300 grit and worked our way to 800. Probably could have gone to 1000 grit if I had any. So now buff them up. Just a bit of polishing compound. I burnt out my drill. It actually caught on fire on another project. So I'm just using the Dremel. The Dremel it's very high speed, low torque, it can generate a lot of heat if you're not careful. But it can be pretty handy. And it's actually doing not a bad job at the moment. Just polishing this up. Although this cheaper stem, no matter what I did to it, just kept looking flat. It certainly improved, but it's always in this brown tinge. I don't know if it was maybe meant to be in the in the plastic itself. There's quite a few little teeth marks in, that, in the uh, fish tail there. There you go. It's looking better, it's not great, but we're not finished yet. No name stamped on it, maybe I could stamp my own name on it. Fussy Pipes. Here's the Peterson stem, and that actually, yeah, I was uh, really happy with the result of that. I mean, it's, it's an old pipe, it's not going to come up like a brand new pipe, but um, it went from brown to black. All the crud came out of it. And actually, uh, I used some cutting compound. Um, I use the um, polishing fiberglass surfboards on this, and uh, yeah, it's a very fine liquid. You know, just buff it up, buff, buffing it off with a clean wheel. And here's the bowl that just polished up without adding anything to it. Look at that. As a, mar a mark of a quality pipe, I suppose. I need some uh, silver polish for that ring. But uh, yeah, the best shiny that is compared to the, uh, the first chapter.
we go, second attempt at polishing this up, and it actually improved a little bit more. It's certainly nice and clean now, ready for some tobacco. And uh, the small wheel on this tended to get right into the, into the pits on the pipe. But it, it, this is um, you know, a garden variety pipe, mass produced pipe, I think. Uh, it's all experience though, I'm cleaning it up. And the other two pipes. Looking much better. Look at that, looks much better than when I first started. And that's a $20 pipe off eBay, so I was gotta be happy with that. This is a freebie that came with a pipe stand I bought. I liked I would have paid for the pipe stand alone. So um, and here is my collection so far. Bits and pieces. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.